Hey guys, welcome to the 2018 PDGA US Women's Disc Golf Championship. This is brought to you by Innova Disc Golf and the PDGA. My name is Lisa Fakis. And I'm Madison Walker. And thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Today we have a feature card. It's Paige Pierce, Liz Carr, one of my favorite players ever, Kristen Tatar from Estonia, and Haley King, the young gun, and also one of my favorite players on this planet. Yeah, such a good mix of players here. And here we are in hole one, par three going uphill on the river's edge longs. It's 314 feet to the long pin. It's just kind of where the stairs are to the left. It might appear that those stakes on the right side are out of bounds, but they in fact are not. Uh, it kind of signifies a break in the fairway. It goes sharply downhill where the basket is and then even more downhill to the right of those stakes. Oh, uh, that, okay. I forgot there was OB there on the sidewalk. Yeah. Um, That's tough. This is kind of one of those gaps I was joking around with Zoe and Dyke yesterday, and it's not one that I like to turn my back to, and it kind of blows my mind when people throw pure backhands. It's very narrow. Um, if you do hit those trees on the right or left, it could definitely go out of bounds backwards uh, yeah. on that sidewalk. It's a scary shot for hole one. <laughs> uh, taking power driver off the box is a lot of ladies' plays, and uh, it's, to get it it's to tough flex. hitting that gap. Kristen Tatar has been playing so well uh, over her during her visit to the United States. She's uh, she's so much fun to play with, so positive and so powerful. Yep. Um, she's got some really awesome form. Uh oh. Oh no. Agree. Kristen's a joy to play with. Always positive. Unfortunate early kick there. Such a hard first hole again. Not a bad place to kick if yeah. you're going to kick. Um, it'll be a wide open approach from down there. Pretty much straight uphill. Hailstorm with the vulture, it looks like. <laughs> yep. I got to stay with her this week, so I'm nice. going to be making lots of jokes. Looks like she's inside the circle. It's a great shot. It's interesting that she didn't take a full meter off. Yeah, interesting footing. I was yeah. watching that too, but she did lift her foot right at the right time. Must have been an angle thing. Right, exactly. She gets it up there with a putt. Yeah, it's a great upshot there. So the day before, um, we had about, what would you say, like 20, 25, 30 mile per hour gusty winds. Mm -hmm. uh, we were playing the wooded course. Um, so it didn't affect affect us as much, but on this particular hole, it was <laughs> insane how yeah, windy it was. Definitely, so gusty this day. Nothing like any other day in <laughs> practice. Just out of nowhere, um, you really had to disc up a lot this day. You nice really, run. Yeah, nice run from Paige. You really can't tell <laughs> right now, but I, whenever we were up there, I swear it was like a whirlwind. Oh. Ooh. Haley in the hunt for her birdie. Solid putt from Kristen for par. That basket made a really interesting noise. I know, that it was almost weird. sounded like it was miked. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so weird. Paige saving a double bogey. Ugh. I guess I shouldn't say save. Cleaning it up at least and tapping in. Haley says it's time to <laughs> take my par and move on. Wonder what she was looking at. And they're at the top of the toboggan hole here for hole two, which is par four to the longs. 671 feet. This is a really cool hole. Scenic, like picturesque mm -hmm. looking down the big hill. And we're going long. We're trying to get over that bridge on our drive, pushing it up there long par four so just staying center and clean is the name of the game here it's a really tough drive though with the elevation definitely so, that uh the yeah. basket hanging from the bridge is our short pin um, like lisa said we're going to be trying to go over the top and the basket's kind of perched up on a hill so it makes your approach a little scary this is just heisering out lots of good distance on that she gets in front of the, the house there. It's really good. You can see the wind kind of playing with it. We I think it was a little bit of a tailwind at this point, um, at least when I played the hole. 
It's a nice wow. angle Kristen puts on that with the nose down. So much good distance. That's such Lots a great of power. Shot. Yeah, just fun to watch. Haley looks like she slipped. That's not what she wanted at all. It came out nose up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, she actually uh, made a joke about commentary today, and she told me to make jokes every time she misses a putt. So <laughs> get ready, you guys. Paige doesn't turn it over enough. It hyzers out pretty strong. She was definitely going for distance. Yeah, she's um, got a lot of distance on that one. So it's totally fine that she hyzered out like that, just get, biting off all that distance. Yeah, it's still pretty open on that left side, right. as long as you get farther than where yeah. Haley ended up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been in there. It's, yeah, it's a good play to just be long and boom it left. She can still save her four from here, but it's definitely a lot of distance to bite off. Yeah, she gets all the way down there for a long look up the hill for the putt. Might even be close to circle's edge. It's impressive. It's good to see Liz on video. Ooh, catches some early branches there. She's, uh, for those of you that don't know who she is, she's a uh, she's been around for a while. She's definitely one of the veterans of the women's disc golf yeah, community. Yeah, Liz is old school awesome. She was, uh, when I was just coming up as a pro, Ooh. she was well established in the scene and kicking butt on tour. Um, she from, started a family at home, and so yeah. now she's a little more scarce in bigger events, but yeah. it's really cool to see her out here at this women's event. Yeah, so cool. Paige and Kristen both have no problem getting their up shots inside the circle. Liz is a local here uh, in Michigan, and uh, yeah, one of the top pros, for sure. Like she throws a machete and it hides her out before the parking lot, no problem, and she'll have a putt. Nice up. Flick of the wrist. <laughs> I love the sunglasses. That's putt. a cool shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just is. Oh. Oh no. Don't roll. Stop. Oh Sit. no. Jeez. I got some speed on it. A bummer um, yeah that it's not the first time i've seen that happen on that hill it's a popular spot for rolls she kind of takes her medicine and just pitches up looks like she just lays yeah, up yeah just, she just rolls like, brushes it off moves on to the next one kristen for three wow great nice. three great power nice bird mm -hmm. page i believe will be doing the same just to tap in very impressive Liz trying to let that just yeah, kind of right off her back. Unfortunate double after that good drive by Liz. And Haley has a good save for Pokey after where that drive landed. Exactly, yeah. So, so yeah, 2A hanging basket hole right on the opposite side of that first clump of trees there. Yeah, this is a, one of the three temporary holes on the course. Um, they had temporary tee pads and temporary baskets. They were kind of um, a little shorter generally. Correct. Um, and one of the two hanging baskets on the course. Really tough crosswind here towards out of bounds. Um, hyzers get kind of knocked down and any sort of underside of the dish showing on an Anheuser shot can get lifted towards the out of bounds parking lot. There's a lake down on the left. It doesn't quite come into play unless you really do something crazy. That wind really is a factor here with how how hard it's pushing. It's kind of gusting up to 20 miles an hour this day. And when Kristen threw, it was left to right. And when Paige threw, yeah. it was right to left. Look, wow. the flag's blowing the different direction. Yeah, that's <laughs> nuts. So uh, when, yeah, so was something crazy. really stable, maybe a firebird, yep. just chunk it right out there. Mm -hmm. When in doubt, throw your firebird. Yeah. <laughs> what wind when you throw that firebird? Yeah, that was a... Courtney McCoy quote uh, <laughs> <laughs> on this weekend. Nice shot there. Yeah, got Liz. some birdie putts coming up. Uh oh, we've got a graphic. Oh. Oh man, that's such a tough putt into that headwind. Elevated. Oh man, and it goes far past. Oh, Shane man. Star. 
Stay high. <laughs> Getting the chain star love. Oh, no. I don't want to say that a lot of women complained about the chain star baskets, but <laughs> maybe oh, that did it. happen. Man, a whole bunch of birdie looks. No one quite It's converts. tough to leave that one out there with being so short. But everyone looks like they're walking away with par here. Such a low pitch for that mm -hmm. basket. <laughs> it is. It's a weird, like, percussion. These all have different keys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bunch of pars. Definitely. So Haley, uh, Haley King, we, I did a lot of practice putting with her this week in the backyard of the host house that we were staying at, and she's got a mean putt I, I hope we get to watch some really long nice long putts from her she was just whooping my butt no outside doubt. the circle yeah she won the putting contest at the dynamic doves on thursday it's pretty impressive with, with four, a score of 14 right and the next best score was 10 mm. she killed she smoked people i think she scored 10 or 11. okay yeah she scored 10. yeah uh, another temporary basket this one it's kind of a sharp hyzer um Kristen's floating it out. There's a, a low-hanging branch and letting it skip in. Um, that's definitely the play. If there's an inside gap that doesn't really convert very well. This is a really tough basket to get to. It's kind of a weird line. Definitely. You want to push long and make sure it just finishes left. But um... It says 265 for the distance, but it definitely play, it plays I don't know longer than yeah, it's that, definitely maybe? sneaky longer being uphill and kind of on that weird angle. Uh, Paige puts it up there, looks like on the circle edge. It's such a weird line, like you said, kind of a sneaky route to kind of you want to fight low, but these branches are giving you a real low ceiling. Or you want to fight high, mm -hmm. um, but the branches are keeping you low, so you're just trying to punch through. And like I said, be long rather than left first. So kind of let your disc naturally fly out. Liz leaves hers a little short. Uh, there's some pretty thick shul on the left hand side, but looks like she still might have a little bit of a putt to run at. That's Ooh, a great run. Gave it a good bit there. You can hear that wind roaring. It's ripping. Kristen with a wide stance. Giving it a nice easy run into that headwind. I think that's a smart play. Inside the circle from Haley. Oh no. No. <laughs> Slow Miz. No, Miz. Dang, oh. chain star. That was a good looking putt. Oh, it was a great looking putt. Just, maybe that wind was affecting it too. Darn it. Looks like everyone's kind of struggling on the putting green. It's kind morning. of the same again. Everyone had looks, but we're all tapping in for pars. with the star Cayman advertisement. If you guys haven't tried those out, they're pretty awesome. Nice uh, nice compliment to a gator. No so doubt. Be like a little bit of like a beadless gator. Sweet. Uh, here's a, one of the other temporary holes. Um, there is a backhand route on the right of that big tree and also a nice wide open forehand gap as well. It's a little bit of a shorter hole, so you kind of just want to pitch up a forehand or backhand hyzer and hopefully get inside the circle for a putt. No real problems you can get into here. No, this one you just want to grab and go. You want to make sure you get your birdie here. Ooh. You oh. know that it's so short that so many ladies are going to be within range. And you hate to drop this one. It's just so gettable. Looks like Kristen kind of almost has a little ace run on the skip. Sweet. Paige with the flick. Going high. Puts herself in the circle. That's awesome. She's been integrating that forehand a lot more often into oh. her game. Love to see it. Yeah. Did a bunch at Worlds. Pretty successful execution. Haley goes a little wider than you want to go. But wider and flatter. Um, kind of stays out wide though. Still going to have a look. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to go between all the trees. That's a good line there. 
she leaves it a little bit shorter maybe than she would Just want. Circle edge about. Mm. Darn it. So close. She wants that birdie after that okay. double bogey a few holes ago. She's looking for him wherever she can. Haley. <laughs> <laughs> looks like she doesn't quite commit to her putt. It's funny, in the backyard she made those look so easy. Paige with a really solid birdie. Another good birdie. Sweet drive. It's It's... Funny, uh, being on tour for four years, I've never really played with Chris, and I haven't got to make a trip to Europe yet, so uh, it's really cool to get to play uh, some rounds with her over the past couple weeks, and, you know, it's uh, someone new, someone different, and someone that is just so good. High level, really respectable, mm -hmm. real professional. Mm -hmm. Two birdies, two pars, move on to hole three. This is a very interesting disc golf hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a snaky line. Not not really a true line unless you have like a 320 foot flex forehand. It kind of plays a little longer than that, I would say too. Yep. Um, you, I would say you kind of have to, I don't want to say poke and hope, but sort of, uh, unless you're playing it for a three, you kind of have to poke and hope. I think we're going to see a lot of these ladies throw straight or hyzer shots that finish out way left and then uh, make an approach to the basket and yeah. take their threes. Yeah, I agree. There's just no really a way for your frisbee to naturally fly on a like path to the basket unless you're turning over like some crazy... Uh, well, Paige was trying to execute kind of a flip-up shot here wow. on the flick, uh, which is really great. Honest. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay. Let me eat my where words. Did, because where that, did she that, get that? Wow. That, that really is the shot. That's a really, really stable disc. And she just threw it hard to the left on that angle. Um, oh, so oh. Haley's throwing something that looks like a little bit more neutral. Um, but yeah, just forcing something over. Mm -hmm. I need to try that. I'm letting it come back. Yeah, yeah totally. Okay. Where did, when did Paige add that to her bag? Well, <laughs> I don't know, but she's good. Oh, I, know that. I love the roller here. Um, I saw Katrina throw it. And wow, Liz is making me my words know. too. Liz was a roller thrower. This is cool. Awesome. I, Good I shot. She got all the way down there. So this is a roller hole and a flick hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're both eating our words. <laughs> we should probably commentate not on the limitations of our own games. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning still, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So Haley looks like she wants that to turn over a little bit more. Heiser's out. She. I think you can hear her laugh. <laughs> Loudly. <laughs> yeah. Kristen, it's a tough up shot. Makes it nice and close. Mm -hmm. She'll have a tap in par. Haley looking to save a par from way out there. <laughs> wow. Oh. Almost made it. Such a pure putter line. Oh. In and out. Liz looking for a two, and that looked like a great putt. Nice, solid putt for two. I would say, Amazing. if we had stats, I would look, but I would, if I would be willing to guess that Paige is one of a very few twos on this hole for the ladies' field. No doubt. We're missing our just stats, by the way. Yeah. We are. Hint, hint. Haley's a little <laughs> bummed. Um... She's looking to just tap in her bogey. Move Never on to want the, next the bogey hole. here. No. Aren't anywhere. Dang it. And Tatar. Takes her part and gets out of here. Moves on to the next little hole. Uh, number four, 276. It's a little snaky, I would say a backhand hyzer flip. Um, you kind of want it to flip up to flat and then turn a little bit to the right before it fades into the, the little bowl that the basket is built mm -hmm. into. I agree with that. Yeah. It's a, such a tight technical hole. Um, it's kind of cool after the wide open hole is kind of a nice mix here. You not, really have to hit your line. Yeah, there's not really any trouble you can get into besides the millions of trees. <laughs> Page um, stays pure with a putter. Wow. Wow, that's I, so good. That's it. Doesn't seem like a putter line. Oh, it seems here we like. Go. Wow, 
I mean, I'm guessing that's a judge uh, because of that little beef of stability at the end. Looks like a very great pure putter shot. She should have a very easy birdie. It plays longer than 276, I feel like. Mm -hmm, definitely. Closer to like a 30 or 40 foot longer, I'm thinking. Yeah, I found myself reaching for a, a fairway driver. Yeah, uh, same. Or higher. Mm -hmm. um, Kristen gets a great kick back into the fairway. She'll have a long putt look over the little hill. Kind of like a little roadrunner here. Just kind of lace one up there. I threw a sidewinder. Nice, yeah. Same, same cool. kind of like soft, touchy. You know, nice power shot. Liz doesn't bite off a whole lot there. It looks like she just wanted to keep it in the middle. Um, oh, just the nose up a little bit. Catches early tree. Haley stays in the middle also. I like the forehand there as well. If I you can too. throw a hyzer flip forehand, there yeah. it is there, but it's yeah. tough. It's such a tight, uh, touchy line that takes a lot of power too. Looks like Haley probably wanted to throw a hyzer on that putter, and she just threw it flat. Oh darn it! Liz catches a guardian tree around the basket, but she'll still have a look. She's in the bowl. Kristen. It's a fun putt. Woo. Too bad it didn't stick. I don't, ball don't lie. 48 feet. I had this same putt. It's a fun one. Slightly blind. Looks oh. like she had a view. What could a she, great putt. Could she even see the basket? I, I don't know. I was there in my round and I couldn't see it, but I'm a little shorter than Haley. Oh my. So I, I'm guessing she might have been blind there. Wow. So impressive. 48 feet. That was huge. It's awesome that she can make such an awesome putt with such junky putters. <laughs> <laughs> Super impressive. Yeah. Doubly. Not saying that Disc Graph has junky butters, but hers but in particular are ah. these very strange plastic. I joked around that I feel like the ones that you buy from, the little no-name triple funny. disc that you buy from Walmart, yeah. it feels just like that. They're like kind of slick. Yeah. And she loves them. That's what she I does. noticed like her bag is like super clean, like all her drivers. And then I, on her putters on the end, they're like really dirty and like old. <laughs> <laughs> like <chunked> up. Yeah. <laughs> all her other discs are like beautifully clean and polished. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Paige gets out of there with a birdie. Kristen takes a par, and uh, we move on to another little shorty. It's a downhill. Um, I would a really narrow gap. I would uh -huh. say a forehand is the play here. I like the backhand, but it's on the mound, so you definitely want to punch that gap. Be true to the line, and then it's a little turnover for the backhand, or a true uh, mm -hmm. flick as well. This uh, is another one that I. Gosh, that wind's pumping. It is pumping. This is another one that I joked with Zoe about. I I really just can't imagine turning my back to it and th throwing the backhand seems so scary. It's such a tight gap. Well, Wombat 3. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. It's my new friend this weekend. Kristen and Paige both it's, really push that tree on the right hand side. It takes a lot of trust, that's for sure. I mean, that's that's a really good benefit to always keep your eyes forward. Yep. It's a good point on such tight gaps. That's always a nice benefit. Haley throws the zone. She catches some low hanging branches uh, and gets knocked straight down in the middle. Uh, let's see if Liz can get through clean. Liz hugs the same tree that Kristen Ooh. and Paige uh, have an issue with, and it looks like that wind might be crossing yeah. out there, and they put all kind of flip over early. Everyone's having trouble on this hole uh, so far. Um, yeah. Nice upshot there. Gets it close. And this is such a short hole, it's a frustrating thing to not get up there for a cleaner putt. Haley nestles it up. Should be like a 20, maybe 15 footer from there. Liz kind of crashing through the branches. She'll have a very easy bird, I mean a par. Yeah. Paige looking for birdie. Ooh. Trusting those marshals in the wind. Yeah. Deputy. Sorry, uh, deputy. Sorry. Well, she used to putt with marshals. Yeah. That's for sure. Can't keep up with the DDs. <laughs> yeah. Paige is working her footwork here. Always taking her time, making sure to not rush her putt. Really solid on the green. Pretty much a routine tap in, even though it's a little uphiller. Good pars here after some 
tough tee shots. Looks like this basket's far enough back in a little cove. They didn't have to worry about the wind on this elevated pin. Um, everyone gets out of there with pars and moves on. This is, we finally get a little bit of distance. Uh, we've had a bunch of short holes and this hole we, uh, we have distance and it's a, a, up a pretty steep hill as well. The mm -hmm. camera angle you can't quite tell. You kind of want to just throw a, uh, throw a shot out into the middle of the field and set yourself up for your next shot, which I think a lot of people were picking the hyzer, but if you went way left, there's definitely a, uh, an Annie or a forehand up to the top of the hill as well. Mm -hmm. The baskets, once you crest the hill, probably what, 120 feet back? At the most. At the most, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a good ways back there. Uh, you really want to make sure you get over that hill with lots of power. Looks like Paige has chose the left gap. I think that's definitely the most wide open option in the smart play. Yes, good distance halfway up the hill. Kristen's aiming the same direction. Oh, just low though. It's oh. gonna be a tough one. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, um, that's kind of the big danger here. Just being a little low um, really puts you uh, in a bad spot. And if you flip it over too, you're you're on the rough. So that's a good shot by Haley being wide open in the middle of the fairway. So these ladies are getting to the point where the hill starts sloping up. I would say that's about 300 feet away from the pin. Um, there you go. Nice height and power there from Liz. Yeah, that'll set up really nicely for a second shot. She has great power. It's like sneaky distance. Yep. yep. And she'll still have a little flat ground landing zone for yeah. her approach. That's always nice. Oh, wow, that's a lot more awkward than I thought it would be. Yeah, and she's trying to bite off a lot of distance there. She does a good job maintaining her balance. Gets a lot of distance. Um, looking to save a bogey. Oh, man, that wind is ripping. Oh. Wind bounce takes it down, though. And you'd think, that right hooked up against that hill, that it wouldn't be that bad. But it looks like it got a lot of action. It was really swirling through here. I don't know if it's because of the toboggan hills or the topography, but the wind was ooh, swirling pretty bad. Definitely ominous with the dark clouds maybe moving in a little closer. Haley throws a bomb forehand. <laughs> we got a little bee action on the camera. <laughs> Haley throws a bomb forehand. She'll have a um, really easy birdie putt. Kristen's still kind of struggling up the fairway. Super good drive from Paige, and she goes for the flick again, making it look good. Really nice standstill approach on that uphill. I like that play. <laughs> Going around to the left side is also much clearer than the right side, so that's a bonus if you can pull that off. That wind is so unbelievable. I know, dude. It's craziness. We were joking, like, are we in Kansas? <laughs> Trying to putt in this? Like, get out of here. Just, oh. Anything straight, you feel so good. I love that she confidently runs at that putt in the wind. Yeah. Uh, still gives it a good jump. No kidding. She really went for that one. Nice birdie. Liz trusting her putters. It's a kind of scary headwind putt. Makes it look easy. That is not easy. Oh, no. <laughs> Kristen's going to have a pretty brutal headwind putt as well. It's interesting. We had another week where the, the weather for the practice rounds was just absolutely delightful. It was warm. There was no wind, no rain. And then we get to the tournament and we have some rain. Yeah. We have some wind. Michigan. Mm -hmm. They say if you don't like the weather, just wait a minute here. <laughs> just like in Texas. Haley getting a really great birdie. Sweet. Maybe she's heating up after that long birdie putt on the hole before. No doubt. Par three, hole seven. This is a tricky downhill hole. Kind of ends up going to the right, and then there is OB long in the road. And just a lot of hairiness on the side of the greens. Uh, it's a really scary tee shot. You just want to try to get through all these trees and kind of crash whatever way you can. The pure shot would definitely be a putter shot. Uh, Paige is showing us the line. Oh! Almost almost got it, all of it. Such a bad 
kick from a little ghost branch, but that's really what you want to do. You want to, um, a little backhand shot. I like the forehand. Me too. Um, either or, anything that sends you down there straight and kind of finishes right. Haley throws a perfect shot with her. I'm guessing that's her zone. Uh, she'll be a little short, but that's not a bad place to be on this hole. Uh, there's so, so many different places you can get stuck. Liz gets tangled up on the right-hand side, but she's far enough out that she'll have a pretty easy uh, pitch-up to save her par. That pitch-up is a little harder than, um, in my opinion, just because it's like that downhill slope. And, and there's OB right behind it. And the OB especially. And then like just being a little further back on the fairway, it's like you still have to give it a good like amount of power. So just it's like a tricky little shot. So and see if Liz pulls it off. She's a good scramble player. Needs to get low. Um, yeah, it's gonna like a little tester putt. Yep. To save, but to save the part. We won't have to play too much with the OB after that. But it's downhill, which is nice. So. No, totally. Yeah. Paige looking to probably just lay up here. Yep. Smart play. Kristen threw the forehand off the tee. She tickled those branches and hyzered out early. Not a bad play at all. She's looking for a... Ooh, okay. oh. oh! Oh, that was so aggressive. It was really nice that it hit that flag. That flag just saved her... Slapped it down, didn't <laughs> <Yeah>. it? <laughs> oh! Oh, no, stop! Looks, looks like it's in. Haley with an air ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liz, buttery, smooth, little spin, putt. Thought that was in. She gets a tough little going from high to low. Just stays a little high. Got a little chain link action. Some good comeback there. Haley and Paige are both going to save their pars. On this hole, a par feels good. Um, no it's doubt. not one that you are ultra aggressive on. You're just happy to get out of there with no no harm, no foul. Three pars on that hole is pretty good. Yeah, it's such a trip up to get a bogey here on a short hole. Tough, just being clean is so important. Same with this hole, hole eight. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like the mini-me of the last hole, but it's just... I mean, just even tighter, and just the line is so, like, turnover, snaky. Yeah, and there's... Kind the, of hope to be good. There's a road OB on the right. The basket's on a slant. If you Once you crest this hill, it slopes pretty hard down to the right. Uh, if you're off the fairway in either direction or deep, it drops off. So uh, any, any way off the fairway, you're going to have a really tough time getting to the pin. The backhand is such a tough play because of that branch, really. That low, that branch is a, really a guardian, I think. It hits a lot of discs. That tree right there. The forehand flex shot is, in my opinion, the way to go. It's not, Same. It's yeah. not easy, per se, but no. you can get some, some power on it and kind of slide up to the basket. I, I do the forehand flex shot, and I'm just good being halfway up the fairway. Yep. Um, Wombat three again. Um... I actually was talking to some locals um, who said that the course, one of the course designers or maintainers was talking about maybe uh, taking that low branch out because okay. it's already a hard enough hole and they, they sure. feel like it would be a little bit of more of a maybe, pure line. Maybe it opens it up a little, yeah, for sure. Paige running at it super hard. She gets a really nice tree bounce and drops her down. It's still not an easy putt from there. There's a bunch of bushes. This is definitely Oof. a roll away green. You just want to sit, sit and stop close. Kristen so, gets a wow, a really nice roll <laughs> right to the basket. You really never see that. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't see that. <laughs> Liz has a great scramble from where she is. It, I didn't know she got that far down the fairway. She'll have a uh, a putt for par as well. Haley looking to save a bird. Such a scary putt. Smart to go for it. Just. I don't know. Is this one I'm like, do I lay up? Do I be aggressive? Kind of an in-betweener. It's a really nice comeback from the, <laughs> the bushes there. It's yeah. such a tough one. Great save by Bigfoot. Deep in the woods. From the knee here. Got... Who is this down here? Is this Liz? Is this Liz? Yeah. Oh, darn it. Oh, Just no. Just low again. She's not getting the local love right now. <laughs> P 
Paige taking the hike down the hill as well. Nice par save. Kristen with a very interesting way to play this hole. <laughs> yeah. Got some good love from the trees and from the ground. And she'll take a par <laughs> move on. <laughs> Do you see that guilty look in the camera? Like that smile, yep. <laughs> So Paige is in the lead right now, only by a couple strokes over Chris and Tatar. They're both both kind of uh, running away with it a little bit here in the first half of the uh, first round. Um, we still have 10 more holes left to go. We have a 21 hole round. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys tune in. We'll see you guys when we come back. My name is Madison Walker. And I'm Lisa Fakish. Thanks for watching.